Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a rational equation. We have x squared minus x plus 1 squared divided by x cubed plus x. That is equal to 1 half, and we're going to be solving for x values. I'll be presenting two methods, and let's start with the first one. So for my first method, I'm going to go ahead and cross multiply. Now let's go ahead and expand the perfect square. We can use the formula for a plus b plus c squared. Distribute to 2. You could also combine like terms first. No big deal. All right. Now let's go ahead and combine like terms. We have 2x to the fourth. There's no other x to the fourth. We have minus 4x cubed minus x cubed. That's going to be minus 5x cubed because we're, we're going to subtract. And then we have 2x squared plus 4x squared, which is 6x squared. And then minus 4x minus x is going to be minus 5x, and then plus 2, there's no other constant, and this is going to be the only one, so plus 2 is going to equal 0. Awesome. This is a quartic equation, and there's a quartic formula, but I don't think you want to use it. Pretty complicated, but there's something nice about this equation. If you look at it very carefully, you're going to notice that this is a symmetric equation. Notice the first coefficient and the last one, and the second one and the second from the last and the one in the middle is just by itself. So we have this symmetry, negative 5 and negative 5, 2 and 2, and we have this at the center. So these kinds of equations are special and we can do the following. We can go ahead and divide everything by x to the second power, which happens to be in the middle in this case. So let's go ahead and divide by x squared, and that gives us 2x squared minus 5x plus 6 minus 5x over x squared, that's going to be 5 over x, plus 2 over x squared equals 0. Awesome. Now we can go ahead and put these two together, 2x squared and factor out a 2, so we can kind of write it as 2 times x squared plus 1 over x squared minus 5 times x plus 1 over x plus 6 equals 0. Now, this equation, by way of substitution, can be turned into a quadratic. But first of all, let's go ahead and write this as x plus 1 over x squared minus something. So if you square x plus 1 over x, you get x squared plus 1 over x squared plus 2ab is just going to give you 2 because x and 1 over x are reciprocals. So, we can basically write x squared plus 1 over x squared in terms of x plus 1 over x. So, we can replace that with x plus 1 over x squared minus 2 by subtracting this from both sides. And then this will be multiplied by 2, of course, coming from here. Minus 5 times x plus 1 over x plus 6 equals 0. And now this is calling for substitution, right? Let's go ahead and call this t. And now we get 2 times t squared minus 2 minus 5t plus 6 equals 0. 2t squared minus 5t minus 4 plus 6. That's going to be a plus 4 equals 0. Okay? What should we do now? Solve this because this is quadratic. If you solve this equation using the quadratic formula, you get t equals negative b plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 25, minus 4ac, which is 4 times 4 times 2, which is going to be 32. And divide by 4, that's going to give you a negative discriminant, which means the solutions are supposed to be complex. Okay, let's go ahead and find out what happens with this. This is going to give us a negative 7 under the radical, so it's going to be 5 plus minus the square root of 7i 
divided by 4. And now since t is x plus 1 over x, we can go ahead and just set it equal to that and find the x values based upon the t values. And of course, you can just go ahead and solve this generic equation for x and then replace x uh, t with what it is, which I think will be a little easier. So let's go ahead and multiply everything by x and then put everything on the same side and then solve this using the quadratic formula negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2 and now replace t with what it is and you're going to be getting the x values and obviously since there are two t values for each of these choices you're going to get two values which is going to give you a total of four values but we have a quartic equation so it makes sense if we end up with four solutions, right? Okay, so that would be the first method. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method and see how that differs from the first one, okay? So for my second method, let me go ahead and copy that equation, x squared minus x plus one squared divided by x cubed plus x is equal to one half. Here's what we're gonna do. Since this equation is symmetric, it's kind of like a special uh, we can go ahead and do the following let's go ahead and divide the numerator and the denominator by x squared directly so I'm going to go ahead and take this expression divide by x squared and then take the denominator and divide by x squared let's go ahead and simplify this I can write these two expressions under the same exponent and then the bottom one is just going to be x plus 1 over x and then now this can be broken down into x minus 1 plus 1 over x squared divided by x plus 1 over x and that is equal to 1 half if I didn't uh, make any mistakes right and then what we're going to do with this is the same thing we're going to use substitution again let's call this something how about t and then we get t minus 1 squared times 2 equals t. This equation is a little easier to solve than the other one because I don't know it just looks simpler. t squared minus 2t plus 1 times 2 will be t and if you distribute you get 2t squared minus 4t minus 5t plus 2 equals 0. Great so now how do you solve this equation for t? Well here's what we're going to do. t is going to be from here I think we can factor this let me check the discriminant real quick b squared minus 4 times 2 times 2 that's going to be 16 and 9 and then we're gonna get t equals negative b plus minus the square root of 3 divided by 2 times a which is 4 and that should be 8 divided by 4 which is 2 or 1 half right okay great you could also factor this as 2t minus 1 and t minus 2 it would give you the exact same thing now we got uh, nicer values here which we didn't get with the first method so we're going to go back and check why we didn't get those with the first method okay so if t is equal to 2 obviously from here we get x plus 1 over x is equal to 2 and this is this gives us a single solution you can definitely check that but that should give us x equals 1 and then if x plus 1 over x is equal to 1 half, let's go ahead and multiply everything by 2x. So it's going to give us x here. 2x is going to give us 2x squared. And 2x is going to give us a 2 here. And then 2x squared minus x plus 2 equals 0 is going to give us negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus. And this is going to give us the complex solutions. And that's going to be 4 times 2 times 2. I think that's going to be 16 right uh, actually 4 times 4 yes and that'll be divided by 4 and this would be 1 plus minus the square root of 15 i divided by 4 so we got two real solutions uh, actually not two real solutions one real solution and two complex solutions with the second method now why didn't we get the exact same thing with the first method let's go ahead and check if we made any mistakes okay so with the first method, I'm going to go ahead and double check real quick. x to the fourth, x squared plus 1, minus 2x cubed, plus 2x squared, minus 2x. 
and then that's equal to x cubed plus x. Let's go ahead and see if we can distribute this. Plus 2 minus 4x cubed plus 4x squared minus 4x equals x cubed plus x. 2x to the fourth minus 5x cubed plus 6x squared minus 5x plus 2 is equal to 0. And then from here, let's see what happens. 2 times x squared plus 1 over x squared and that should be replaced with this minus 5 times this plus 6 and then we replace x plus 1 over x with t and that should give us exact same thing why didn't it give us the same thing 2t squared minus 4 minus 4 plus 6 yes exactly now i know what, what went wrong this is supposed to be a 2 not a 4 because 6 minus 4 does not equal 4, obviously. Okay, this is where we made a mistake, where I made a mistake. Therefore, obviously, this is going to change the entire thing. But basically, you got the idea. That's why it's important to do two methods. And I didn't want to, I'm not going to cut this video, by the way. So you're going to see what kind of mistake that I made. All right, and this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.